All right, this is really exciting because we just saw how the pepper got from farm to table and now we're with Chef Kathy Gold. Hello. Hi. So and nice I'm excited because we're going to learn a dish on what to do with this pepper once it hits your table. What is this dish called? This is piperade. And so this is a classic dish from the Basque region of France, but we're just having all of this gorgeous produce, late harvest produce from New Jersey, which has the best produce ever. And we're going to make this dish right here at In the Kitchen Cooking School. So. I have to ask, are you going to use the red or the green? We're going to use both. And so everybody knows that all peppers start out green, right? You probably learned that. This was the twist in my story. <laughs> I had no idea. That and this genetically, was they become whatever they're predestined to be. So all these gorgeous colors, they even come in purple and chocolate and white and striped colors that are just exquisite. And the flavor is just indescribably sweet and beautiful. All right, let's get started. And so did you want to go ahead and cut that pepper? Yes, yes, I would love to. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put our tomatoes in to cook. And they're going to burst and get all juicy and fantastic. Okay. And so you can cut it that way and then I'll show you the way I do it. Okay. And I'm going to switch with you to Let's move go. this way and turn our heat on. On. Okay. Right under your air Chef Gold, does this look cooking school appropriate? It's a way. <laughs> uh, we do it a different way because... Isn't this a good idea, though? It's a great idea, and that is the best way to do it if you're going to stuff your pepper with something oh. fantastic. Do you like to do strips? I or? do. I do a julienne, which is, are the thin strips, and then you can cut it into a dice as you're doing, which is, okay. which is fine. Depends on the size that you want in the dish that you're making. So our oil is heating nicely, okay. and that's looking good. We can throw in some of our Gorgeous heirloom tomatoes. The colors are beautiful. I know, I love these. And so that's going to come in. And I'm just going to give these a little bit of a chop because they're a little bit bigger. And this is one of our heirloom tomatoes. This beautiful red stripe has a lot of acid in it, which I really love. Some people like it very mild, not me. Where do you go to buy your tomatoes? So I like to support our local economy and our local farms. So I do a combination. I have a CSA, which is Community Supported Agriculture. And I have that on Wednesday stay, either a delivery or a pickup, and then our farmer's markets on Saturday morning. So it really works well. By the time Saturday rolls around, I'm ready to restock with all the things that I need to use. Here, so, I'll let you keep cutting. You sure. show us how it's done. So we're looking at some nice blistering here, which is great. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this into quarters, get that in, and this one as well. Okay. I like to have a nice flat. This is very hot. Yeah, well, medium heat. We want a nice little sizzle, right? Okay. We want our tomatoes to start to collapse and caramelize a little bit, which means just to get brown and all the natural sugars start to develop. So that looks pretty good. But I'll show you how I like to cut a pepper. This is how it's really done. <laughs> See all these little seeds all over the place? Yeah. I like to try to avoid that. So I'm going to actually fillet the pepper right off that whole seed pod, which we know is attached to that stem. So I, at an angle, I'm going to take my knife and follow the contour all the way down. And now I can see where all of the seeds are. And right between the cell and the membrane, we can go ahead and cut that right off just like that. And then we can come back and clean up whatever we need to clean up. So we're going to leave these to the side and okay. cut our onion. And so tip of the onion, cut that right off, creating a nice flat surface for ourselves. This is called a tunnel cut so okay. that my knife doesn't slip and hurt my fingers. Just right in for a little. And then eventually we'll add the peppers, we'll add the onion. And you know, at this point you can go ahead and add those peppers. I never thought I learned so much about the pepper. It was actually really interesting. And you appreciate it more knowing how long it takes to get from one step to your table. So we talk about green peppers and colored peppers and why the peppers, when they're ripe, have, are more expensive in the marketplace. Right. And it's all about that they need to stay on the vines a little bit longer and have a shorter shelf life. Exactly. And if you want to, you can stir that for us. Sure. One more step, adding some garlic. Okay. Smells so good. Give a little whack. Peels easily. Uh -huh. And this is an easy recipe anyone can do at home. It's Yes, and you just need the right ingredients. With everything, see that nice caramelization, that's fantastic. We're going to go ahead and season a little salt and pepper. And our pepper, always grind one way, otherwise you strip your gears. And a little, oh, it does really smell great. And a little tiny bit of a chili pepper, ground chili pepper, that actually 
grows in France called piment d'esplet. It's not super spicy, but gives a really nice depth of heat. This and great. we are ready to All go. Set. All right, I'll let you do the honor of plating it. And so, <laughs> right into it's your It's just a bowl. nice, healthy, good ingredient kind of a dish. And it's really nice to serve this with both oh, those peppers, with a little bit of toast points, which if you want to hand that to me. Sure. Nice grilled bread. I'm getting ready. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. This looks amazing. Mmm. Wow, it's incredible. Just first with flavor, yeah, so fresh. Really. And really not a lot that we did. Wow, you can really taste it's really fresh. It's great. So this is one dish, but we are going to be making a corn salsa coming up. And you have to tune into this. You don't want to miss it. You just have to go to youtube.com slash NJTV online. That's youtube.com slash NJTV online. Join me, Chef Gold, we'll be there. And uh, that's the end of this segment though. See you soon.